An acquiring company is usually large, has many staff, many departments, where staff have one or two roles. A small company, on the other hand, has many fewer staff. It may not have individual departments, and staff have multiple roles. There are a lot of differences between the business cultures of the acquired company and the acquiring company. You could have more departments in the parent company than people in the acquired company. At the same time, we say to them, please stay busy, please be productive. So what do we do? Every integration needs an objective, a strategy to be defined. And with that strategy, you could develop a project plan so that you say, these departments must communicate first. So we have a plan, we have a schedule to work to, and a set of tasks to complete. And those projects get underway. When the projects are underway, you then open up the door for more departments to reach out and start the communication and start their integration plans. And so on through the different departments, through the schedule, checking off the tasks to the master project, all aligning with the strategy that's been defined at the beginning of the integration. It doesn't matter what industry you're in, you could be in banking or making cars, you have to have an integration strategy and from that an integration plan. My name is Steve Nunn and I've worked in a variety of industries over the years in a variety of countries, the United Kingdom, Australia, United States. And I, I'd like to think that my broad experience helps me understand how businesses work. Over many of those industries, I've been a project manager, the most recent of which has been post merge integration. Over the past two years, I've integrated a lot of companies around the world. This map shows the offices of the companies that are required. Some of these companies are international companies. So when you're integrating an international company into another international company, you have to be able to, to use relationships you already have, and you have to be able to communicate with the newly acquired people, understanding their point of view and what they're going through to represent them to the rest of the company. Here's what I offer. Your strategy needs to be turned into a plan. And the plan has a set of tasks to work through. And the task is set is unique to the integration. Every integration is different. The people who are doing integration can be guided to understand how to communicate to these people, how to set up projects and track them, what type of meetings to hold and how to hold these meetings. You have to create a training plan for the newly acquired staff. And the way you communicate to them is also important so they don't feel the shock of the transition as much. Every integration has something unexpected to turn up. How do you deal with the change? How do you deal with these unexpected things? At what point do you tell CD management we have a problem here that needs to be addressed? Or is there an issue that you can resolve yourself? So this process of change management has to be created as well. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, please contact me at nonbetterconsulting.com.